Hello everybody. This is my ThinkPad T420 41786 view. I bought this machine brand new on the 8th of March this year, but by the 6th of April I was having a lot of trouble with it. So I sent it in for uh, servicing to EasyServe in Memphis, Tennessee, and this is what I got. Looks normal? All right, I'm going to show you what happened. This entire palm rest was replaced because there was flex in this region and in this region and generally it was just completely unacceptable. This keyboard was replaced because the track point, the famous ThinkPad track point, was failing. It would start jumping all over the screen by itself without me even putting my finger on it. If I switched to the track point, it would do the same thing. So, I mentioned all these issues on my uh, ThinkPad. I know they send you this, this shipping ma mailer. You're supposed to fill in all your issues over here. And I mentioned all of that. Now, I got the machine back, first of all, without my fingerprint reader and my Bluetooth dot board. Because they didn't have the right part. So they just switched out a lower spec part for the T420 and put it on my machine. They took out my fingerprint reader, they took out my Bluetooth card, and that's it. I mean, they sent back without even thinking that I would notice. This keyboard was replaced, all right, but now the core issue of flex, which I'm going to show you, is still there. Look at this. I've never seen a ThinkPad keyboard flex like this. This is just silly. I mean, and this is just a light press. If you press a little harder, as you know, most of us do when we're typing really fast, it's just... It sounds like there's, you know, there's, you know, bits of plastic loose in there just hitting each other. I don't know what, what they're doing. Compared to the rest of the keyboard, which sounds okay and has pr zero flex anywhere except this corner, which is just really bad. Look at that. Now, when they replaced this bezel, they wanted I wanted them to fix the flex issues here. There was like a warp here, a warp here, depression at this part. That's been mostly fixed. I mean, there's still a bit of a depression here, but you know, it's it's hardly visible until you run your finger on top, and I can live with that. But now, there's this weird bump right above the speaker grill. I don't know if you can see the video. It's it's a little dark. I'm sorry. But there's a weird bump right between the function and the uh, shift keys. It's That wasn't there before. It's a new defect that they produced. I don't know how that happens. According to my paperwork that they shipped back, they replaced the screen bezel. I don't know why they did that, because there was no problem with the screen. Absolutely none at all. And I've got a machine back that has less functionality, thanks to a missing screen uh, fingerprint reader and Bluetooth. And I've paid full price for it and I just don't understand how that happens how you ship a machine and get it back without parts so this is just a video to show you what's the problem with my computer and hopefully you know things will work out and they'll be able to fix it oh one more thing this was another key area that needed to be looked at this part particularly this corner of the palm rest not the trackpad but the, the palm rest here feels like it's there's something loose here you know there's supposed to be a screw here according to the uh, workshop manual there's a screw at this point below here and there's a screw at this point over here it feels like the screws loose because you can you can hear it you can hear the looseness you know you can hear it just flexing and hitting the uh, the mating surface compared to this part which is fine this is nice and solid rattle and lose. It's just, it's weird. This part houses the uh, the contactless smart card reader. I don't have that, but there's supposed to be a spacer here, which doesn't really do any justice. It's still kind of flexy and buckling. I don't know how that happens. Maybe they need to, you know, redesign the spacer. I don't know what they're doing. So, this is just a video to show you what is wrong with my machine. If there's any of you guys who have the same problem, please feel free to link this video to Lenovo so they can see where exactly the problems are, and they can help you, and hopefully they can help me too. Thank you.